and welcome to the Fox 56 Sports Show driven by Toyota. I'm Erin Dugan. Well, our first live high school basketball game is next week as the Scranton Prep boys host Hazleton area. And tonight, Bob Ive brings us a preview of that game with both teams. We also head to Rocky Boxing Club in Berwick for a story on how the club is promoting the sport and the importance of education. If you've ever wondered what it takes to become an athletic trainer, the staff at Lockhaven University talks us through. In this week's Get to Know, you'll meet Scranton Prep senior Jake Brown. Our featured cheerleaders this week are from Wyoming Valley West High School, and we have a performance from the Southern Columbia Marching Band as the team heads to the PIAA Class 2A Championship. Let's begin tonight with a preview of our first live high school basketball game of the season. Here's Bob I to talk to Scranton Prep and Hazleton area. That was a get you out of your comfort zone type of scrimmage. Now in his 11th season as the Hazleton area head coach, Mike Joseph is more than excited about this year's Cougars. You know, it's as experienced a group and probably, you know, one of the more talented groups, you know, uh, that I've had returning. And it's a group that's put a lot of time and energy and invested in the off season uh, to get themselves to be better players and stronger and more explosive. And uh, we have a lot of size and I think we have uh, a lot of, you know, uh, workable parts that we could be really flexible where we put guys. So there's a lot of excitement uh, from the guys that we have coming back, our schedule, and the fact that it's the 25th year of Hazleton area basketball uh, creates a little bit more of a level of excitement for us. Part of the Cougars' size comes from Josh Samick and Nolan Genesevich. The pair of 6'7 players will be counted on to pick up some of the scoring left behind when Bobby Palloon is graduated. I think everyone's going to pick up the scoring. I mean, I think we're going to have a strong team, five guys, and then we're also having strong players come off the bench. We have good chemistry together. We play well together. We played with each other since we were young. Uh, Joshua Samick, he'll definitely pick up the scoring. Jeffrey, Joey, everywhere around will, will pretty much pick up scoring. If they're somewhere between 8 and 14 points a game collectively, you know, we have guys averaging from 8 to 14 points, I think we have a chance to be really good because I think that'll show that we shared the basketball. We're going to be very balanced. You know, in Hazleton basketball, you know, arguably one of the greatest teams was in 1988-89. They had Bobby, uh, excuse me, they had Jeff Van Tolick and Rich Hudock, two guys that went and played Division I. Jason Hoppy was a Division III All-American at Scranton. That team had five guys averaged between 10 and 14 points a game. They won 28 to 29 games that year, and that's what we're looking for, to have really good balance and, and uh, play really good defense, because that'll be the key, I think, more so than you know replacing some of that scoring is how good of a defensive unit we could become. Some early season scrimmages against some of the state's very best will hopefully prepare Hazleton for their tough non-conference schedule and the Wyoming Valley Conference. The Cougars are hoping a quarter century of Hazleton basketball leads to a championship. Our goal this year is to win the district championship. Um, we're starting to say gold squad before every huddle and um, after the district championship we'll make a deep run in the states. That's what we're looking forward to do. Uh, just to see how far we can get. I mean, I, I hopefully that we're going to get very far this year, but we just got to strive and keep playing. Part of Hazleton's early season tough schedule includes a stop at Scranton Prep. The Cavaliers are the defending AAA champions, but in the new format, they're a favorite in 4A. Last year, what I said was um, we were talented, but not necessarily experienced. And now um, this year, I think we're talented and experienced. Um, these guys proved to a lot of people and themselves how good they were last year. And hopefully with their off-season work and maturity and uh, commitment to our program, um, we could be even better than we were last year. What we're really excited about, um, we've been working really hard since since the summer and since last year we kind of have a bitter taste in our mouths from getting bounced in the second round so we definitely have a lot to be excited about we accomplished a lot last year but uh, a message to the coach has been saying to us is that last year wasn't really good enough so i think we're excited we have experience from last year but we want to learn from it and improve on it so the cavaliers starting five returns three players that averaged in double figures last season in logan bailey patty casey and nick dende add in a talented supporting cast and this prep team could be lethal. We really like getting it uh, up and down the floor, uh, taking it right out of bounds a lot of the times. So uh, it's really a high tempo game and it all starts with our uh, full court press. So that's really the, the ignition for everything. I think our athleticism, uh, especially in, in transition, is our strength. Um, we do have some shooters. Um, we have some post players who can post and play facing the basket. So that gives uh, defenses some trouble. So um, 
I really like the makeup of our team. Uh, we've been really working hard, and uh, we're looking forward to everything. On Wednesday, the Cougars and Cavaliers will showcase some of the best players in the area. Last year, Prep beat Hazleton in overtime. This season, expect the same. We love playing those guys. Um, we've had some great games against them, especially last year down at their place. Uh, mutual respect, I think, goes a long way with these two programs. A lot of our guys play together in the summer with JB Hoops and AAU ball. So um, our kids are excited. I know Coach Joseph and his kids are excited. And um, it should be some great District 2 basketball. Stay with us right after the break. Training young athletes in more ways than one.